Have you ever noticed on YouTube that so many people who do these unboxing videos have these crazy fantasy knives and survival blades to, to open the boxes? Well, you know what? It works for them. I thought that I would do the same. So, let's get started. Hold on to your butts. It's about to get awesome. Can you imagine? So yeah, that's like a real thing. I don't know why they have these crazy, like, you know, fantasy knives and swords to open up their, their boxes. Um, I usually just use an X-Acto knife. This is my good go-to. So uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Let's see, with this, if I cut off a finger, it'll just be a small one. And trust me, anybody who's, anybody who's used a, 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 an X-Acto knife knows you can pretty easily chop off the tip of one of your fingers. So this is just as deadly, possibly more, than one of those fantasy swords, uh, fantasy knife things. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. These things. If I have a, uh, any old pipes I want to sell back to uh, smokingpipes.com, I can do that. But, ooh, the box note on these things. Have you ever ordered anything from uh, Smoking Pipes or something like that, and the box itself just smells amazing as soon as you open it? Ah, that's nice. I wish we had smell vision Actually, I don't. That'd be weird and gross. We're not going to do that. That's a whole different video. So, okay. All right. We're going we're gonna to touch on these last. Pile those up like contraband. Oh, my gosh. Okay, see what we got here. They packed a lot of stuff in here. This is a, this is a pretty big order. Okay, what do we got first? Ooh, okay. Savinelli Brunello Flake. So uh, the yes, I'm, I have notes here because I'm a cheater. Okay, Savinelli. This is a this is the um, Burley Orientals and Virginia blend. So I can't wait to try this. This is going to be awesome. This is the hundred gram tin. So pretty big tin, but can't wait to dig into that. After that, we have the Mac Baron H H Burley Flake. So this, so people say Mac Baron, some people say McBaron, like it's Scottish, but it's not a Scottish company. So I don't know. This is a, uh, this is Burley, dark fired Kentucky and Virginia. This is going to be, I've heard really, really good things about this. So I'm excited about this and all of these I'm going to do review, review videos on and uh, just let me know which, which uh, blend you want to hear a review for first. And uh, that's how I'll go. What else do we got? Ooh, there's so much stuff in here. This is great. It's like Christmas. Like a kid on Christmas morning. You just spent a lot of money. Alrighty. Ooh, here's a good one. Cult Blood Red Moon. This is going to be a good one. So, um, so this is an aromatic. Uh, it has uh, Black Cavendish, Burley, Virginia. And um, it says... Aromas of royal of royal and cherry and dark chocolate. So looking forward to this. I don't usually get these really flavored um, aromatics, but I've heard really good things about this this cult blood red moon. So this is going to be tasty. I'm really really looking forward to this. And that's gonna be a fun review too. I think. After that, of course, the good old fashioned Orlick Golden Sliced. Um, so the Orlick. Th this is pretty straightforward. Um, just a Perique Virginia blend, nothing fancy, but, uh, this is always a, a top seller. Pretty much every place you look, this is really, this is a good one. Alrighty, I'm a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Ooh, here's one. Okay, so Mad Fiddler Flake. I actually, you know, I've heard good things about this. It wasn't on the top of my things to get list. Um, but the reason I got this specifically is I recently did a review on, um, Cornell and Deal's Folklore. And it was, it was a really good tobacco. Um, it's probably not going to be my, be my everyday smoke, but it's pretty tasty. It was really, had a lot, of, a lot of subtleties that you really had to think about. And then once you really understood what you were smoking, I think it was more enjoyable. Um, but somebody in the comments said that Mad Fiddler Flake was pretty comparable to Folklore. I have no idea if that's true. I don't even know, uh, but what we're, we're going to see. So this is Black Cavendish, Cigar, Orientals, Perique, and Virginia. And I do know that one of the things I liked about the um, folklore from Cornell and Deal also was um, 
the cigar notes. They didn't really pick up at first. Uh, in fact, I think a lot of people, when they first smoked at the very top of the bowl, uh, when they got what ended up being the cigar notes, uh, it kind of turned, turned them off a little bit. But the deeper you got into the bowl, once you recognized that's what you were tasting, you were like, oh, this is actually pretty tasty. So I'm looking forward to this, the Mad Fiddler Flake. That's going to be good. Next, we have Speakeasy, also from uh, Cornell and Deal. So Speakeasy, uh, Dark Fire, Kentucky, Orientals, Perique, and Virginia. That should be tasty. Again, I've heard very good things. Um, shouldn't be anything super complex about this, but definitely going to review this and uh, let you know what I think. This is going to be a good one, too. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go through anything in this box and say, "Oh, this is terrible." I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, so you're gonna hear me say, "Yeah, this is gonna be a good one." A lot. <laughs> but they packed a lot of stuff in that little box, man. Whoever's whoever's packing boxes at uh, smokingpipes.com, man, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Ooh, here's a good one. As I said, uh, Low Countries, Adisto, from Cornell and Deal. So. Cornell and Deal actually blends um, all of the Low Country uh, tobaccos specifically for SmokingPipes.com brick and mortar store. Um, Low Country in South Carolina, South Carolina, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's located, and I don't have the exact address. Located in South Carolina, but uh, this is also made from Cornell and Deal, and this is let's see, just a Virginia, pretty basic, but it has really good reviews, and um, it was. It's almost always sold out, so looking forward to that. Again, everything I'm talking about here. Um, let me know what you want to see reviewed, and uh, I will add that to the top of the list because I'm going to review all of these. What else do we got? What else do we got? Okay, Warped Sarto. The Warped Sarto is Dark Fire Kentucky, Latakia, Orientals, Perique, and Virginia. So a lot going on there. Um, I don't know why I just sniffed it. The, uh, the tin itself is still sealed. But all this smells amazing because it, it was all packed together. Um, currently, uh, all of the uh, warped tobacco is on sale on smokingpipes.com. That's kind of why it made it on here. Plus, it had really good reviews. So, um, looking forward to seeing what this is like. I've, I have an idea of what it should be based on the components. But uh, it's interesting to see how every place uh, has their own little flair on these things. So, interesting there. And, of course, it wouldn't be any kind of normal order without... Some plum pudding. Good old-fashioned standby. I assume everybody watching or listening to this has had plum pudding at some point. Um, but let's see. Let's see. Seattle Pipe Clubs, Plum Pudding, Black Cavendish, Latakia, Orientals, Perique, and Virginia. Um, super tasty. Uh, again, if you haven't had this, what are you doing with your life? Go out and get some plum pudding. Add it to your cellar. Um, and that's exactly what this is. This is going to go deep into my cellar with about, you know, 10 other tins of this just because it's a good, good standby. It's a good old fashioned standby. So that's going to be, I want to see what this is going to do with age. Currently all my tins that I have of this, I don't have a tin older than, you know, three or four years, but I want to see what this does in maybe 10. We'll see. I'll let you know. I'll do a review then. And we got some big bags here. Check this out, like some bricks of uh, of contraband here. Just giant kilo bricks of, of delicious, delicious tobacco. So, first thing I have is Lane Limited HGL. So, uh, the HGL is Black Cavendish, Burley, Latakia, and Virginia. Now, the reason I have these, these big 8-ounce um, bags here is because I have a really bad habit of, I want to try this, and I want to try this, and I, I, even though I just, even though I already have 10 of these, I want to open this and smoke this. Um, I have a really bad habit of <laughs> opening everything in my cellar just so I can taste it. So what I do is I'll buy, you know, bulk um, tobacco of some of my favorite standbys, and th that hopefully keeps me from being too tempted to open some of this other stuff that I'm trying to sell for long periods of time. Um, not just because I have more more to choose from, but also I'm going to feel really guilty if I have, you know, eight ounces of this sitting here, eight ounces of this, eight ounces of this, and uh, just letting it sit there while I'm opening something else that I don't need to open. So that's the strategy. It doesn't always work, but, you know. So um, Lane Limited HGL, great standby. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. Um, Bite in bulk from uh, smokingpipes.com or... 
your local retailer and uh, yeah, enjoy. Great standby, everyday smoke here. This is very, very good stuff. Up next, another perfect standby, which is why I bought eight ounces of it. Um, Cornell Deals Haunted Bookshop. So uh, the Haunted Bookshop is um, Burley Perig, Virginia. Pretty basic. N nothing that you need to stop and think about. This is just one that you can pack your pipe with every single day and really enjoy it while you're reading a book, whatever you like to do while you're smoking. Um, Haunted Bookshop, highly, highly recommended. I really like this one. Now this one, this last one, is a bit of a wild card. This is not for everybody, um, but it's one that I really like. So I'm a cigar guy. This is Cornell & Deal's Chopped Cigar Leaf. Chopped Cigar Leaf. And it's, boy, it smells like cigars. Because that's exactly what it is. This is literally just chopped cigar leaf. And uh, this is really classified as more of a blending tobacco, which is what a lot of people are going to do. They're going to blend little bits of this in their, you know, private blends. And just to add that little extra kick of, of, of a cigar note. Like I mentioned, um, you know, folklore had uh, a heavy cigar note by the time you got about halfway down the bowl. Uh, Mad Fiddler Flake apparently is going to have the same thing. So some people do that. Some people also just pack a pipe full of chopped cigar, chopped cigar leaf, uh, which is what I do occasionally. It's I'm a cigar guy. I love that flavor. This is not one that you want to smoke in the house if your wife uh, or husband or whoever uh, doesn't doesn't like smoky smell in the house. This will leave a heavy smoky smell. If you have smoked cigars, you know this. Uh, it's not going to be like uh, Lane's 1Q, which is really pleasant room note. This is going to leave a very heavy cigar room note. I also wouldn't recommend smoking this in your favorite Meerschaum or something that's going to ghost heavily, because this will leave this will leave natural taste. Um, so keep that in mind. But uh, chopped cigar leaf, one of my favorite standbys. Not one I smoke in the house. I bought this primarily because it's almost springtime, and uh, I'm really looking forward to sitting outside. Um, reading a good book with some chopped cigar in a pipe that uh, is designated specifically for <laughs> for chopped cigar leaf, basically. So, pretty good haul here. Like I said, I'm going to actually review all of these. Um, I did get all of these from SmokingPipes.com. They're not a sponsor, but SmokingPipes.com, if you want to give me some sponsor sponsorship dollars, I'll be uh, more than happy to take that off your hands. However, I do want to mention... If you have the opportunity, please, please, please hit up your local tobacconist, hit up your local uh, smoke shop, whether they sell, you know, pipes, tobacco, um, cigars, whatever, shop local first. That should always be your first choice. Um, the reason I got some of this stuff online is because my local tobacconist doesn't actually have this stuff. Um, you know, one of these days, I will actually do a review of my local smoke shop. Uh, walk through some of their blends, because they actually have some private blends they do there, too. Um, and we'll, we'll go through that whole process. But some of the stuff, most of the stuff, I could not get locally, so I bought it online. And look, I think we all do that. Like I said, um, Smoking Pipes is basically becoming the, the Amazon of the tobacco world, which I'm sure they love to hear. But just like Amazon, they're one of the big kids now. And... Um, I don't know their profit margins. I don't. Give them your business. They're great. But if you have the opportunity, shop local first. I always recommend that. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to dig into this stuff. If you have a preference on what you'd like to see me uh, review first, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you see something here that, you, that you'd like to try, let me know. Uh, if, if you don't see something here that you'd love to see me review, let me know what you want to see reviewed, and uh, I'll pick some up. Uh, but this is going to be a lot of fun and, uh, uh, man, I'm like a, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I can't wait to open all of this stuff again, which is why I bought <laughs> stuff in bulk and, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing, uh, hearing your thoughts on this and, uh, I will talk to you soon.